All right, let's go. Lunch with the endorsement. I cannot believe as many times as I've gone to Jersey Mike's, I've never gotten the original Italian. I certainly have never uh, reviewed it on the channel. I've done the Cancro special. I've done the uh, Philly cheesesteak. I've done a uh, chicken cheesesteak. I've done the uh, provolone in Turkey, the turkey and provolone. I think a couple others, but when I look back into the archives, why have I not tried the original Italian. So right here, are you familiar with the Giants? That's a Giant. We're going to check it out. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. I have not had Jersey Mike's in a hot minute, months, maybe six months, maybe a year. It's been a while. I got the giant original Italian and you can see the oiler, oiler, the oil and vinegar goodness seeping through the giant uh, bag right here. Provolone, ham, uh, capicola, salami, pepperoni, and prosciutto. Proscatini. It's not a prosciutto. It's similar to prosciutto, uh, but I don't know how to pronounce it. I am not Italian, and I will never pretend to be. So this is a giant. I think it was nineteen dollars. Nineteen dollars. This is going to be two meals, maybe three. Look at this. This thing is huge. Let's kind of do a little unwrap. A little unwrap. Ooh. Ooh. Do you see? You don't see. I see. Oh my goodness. Let me just pick it up here on the plate and get you a look-see. Take a look at that. That is a hoagie sub grinder work of art. We're going to get into this. Let's go. All right, so I'm gonna try not to make uh, too much of a mess. You've seen the thumbnail. This is a beast. Look at this. That is, look at the meat. What is going on? Look at that. Whoo, this might be four meals. <laughs> they did not skip, that is. A $19 sub. Let's go. Hoagie, whatever you're going to call it. Let's just uh, rip it off here. Just rip off a section. All right. Look at this. Look at the layers of all of that Italian meat goodness. And all that we got going on here is provolone, oil and vinegar, lettuce, and I kept off the tomatoes. I'm sorry. All of you Italian sub purists out there, I'm sorry. I am in the mood to eat this, and uh, a lot of times I'll leave the tomatoes on. Uh, I've been doing that lately. Look at all the meat off of the side right here. Salami just glistening. Look at that. Layer on top of layer. Wish me luck. The uh, original Italian uh, sub over at uh, Jersey Mike's. Jersey Mike's top tier in the sub game. Uh, Publix Deli. Uh, name some of your other um, franchises that make uh, the subs. Here we go. Wish me luck. Pepperoni right off Jump Street. The bread, soft. Take a look. I mean, simple yet elegant. Jersey Mike's, slicing it right in front of you. Mixing it up. I guess this is uh, Mike's way with the oil and vinegar and uh, the spices. Did they put the oregano and everything on there? I don't remember. But um, doing everything right in front of you, that bread, fire. 
the bread is so soft, uh, but then it does uh, kind of give a little give right there. And there is a little kind of uh, a bite through. Look at the meat just trying to escape Shawshank, trying to jump out of the sub before I take another bite. It is just packed to the brim. Check it out. There's the provolone right there. I kind of did a little uh, fold and tuck, a little fold, folded the meat back up into the sub uh, for the second bite. This is hitting the spot, hitting the spot. Mm. The combination of all of these meats, mm. yeah. All right, so listen, for a, a chain spot doing hoagies, doing subs, doing uh, grinders. This is a place that's top tier. If you can't get to a like a New York deli or a New Jersey deli or any of these other uh, states that does a uh, deli sandwich correct. Uh, but all of the meats uh, going on here. I did read something. I'm like, what's the difference between uh, prosciutto and pruscatini? I'm probably uh, not pronouncing that right. They said that uh, pruscatini is found in many delis and Italian specialty shops. Although it is made similar uh, to prosciutto, its claim to fame is it's a ham that's made from pork using black pepper and other spices. So it gives it a little bit of something something, but that's just packed so good. And like I said, 19 bucks. This thing is uh, filled and um, I could probably eat one of these and be okay. If I eat half of it, uh, I'll definitely be full. You could definitely share this. This is easily two to three meals at 19 bucks. You're looking at, uh, what is that? 9.50 uh, each if you're doing two meals. Let's take a final bite. I love everything going on in here. I love the oil and vinegar flavor with all of this uh, meat. It's it is fire, and what I really like, I don't even know if this makes a difference. Oh, I forgot, onions. Did I mention onions? I like when they have the uh, pepperoni on top, because when I kind of bite down, I get that pepperoni flavor, then it mixes in with all of that ham. Yes, please. Yes, please. Like I said, simple with a kiss of elegance. All right, so listen, we're gonna give it a rating one to 100. I remember one time, I think I did a Wawa Italian and I put mayonnaise on it with the um, oil and vinegar. And a lot of people are saying, what are you doing? And I get it. There's a certain way that the Italian is made, uh, the type of condiments you wanna put on an Italian to make it an authentic Italian. But sometimes as you grow up as a human being, you just like the flavor of things and you're not really thinking about keeping it authentic uh, or keeping it away from someone who uh, grew up on an authentic uh, Italian sub and they might look down on you for putting mayonnaise on something. I don't have mayonnaise on this and I really do enjoy it. But for me, I grew up on subs that had mayonnaise and I love when mayonnaise mixes with oil and vinegar or mayonnaise mixes with like a chipotle mayo. I just love that combination on a sub. So I get it, it's not uh, authentic. I hope this is authentic. People let me know in the comments uh, that I order it correctly. I doubt it because a lot of people are gonna start typing if they haven't already, you need to have tomatoes. Mm. Okay. All right, so listen, 1 to 100, I'm going to give it a rating, but look at that second quadrant right there. Look at all of this meat. This thing weighs a ton. You see the nooks and crannies and the bread right there. All right, so listen, 1 to 100, this is a solid, a solid 94. I'm going to give it a 94. I do love their uh, cheese steaks. I do love their uh, number seven. The uh, turkey and provolone, that's one of my go-tos. Uh, Mike's Way, no tomato. Uh, but this is really good. Tons of meat, tons of flavor, and uh, definitely hitting the spot. So uh, yeah, there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word on my channel out to the masses. In closing, there you go. The original Italian, I love it. I love Jersey Mike's, again, top tier. Um, 
that's it. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video, Lunch with the Endorsement, and we'll see you soon with some more reviews. Bye.